Hey folks, we're at the end of Q1 at HCHS, and it's been an incredibly rich time for your reading life. Not only have you had access to an amazing collection of books through the HCHS Books website and also the Learning Ally app, but you've also been given a significant amount of class time to complete independent reading. That, along with time that you've read at home by yourself, equals a lot of time to grow your reading life. And it's time for us to look back and see how much growth that you have created during this time. We're gonna do that using this assessment and there are four parts to it. So this video is here to explain to you how to complete each part. Part one is simply reading data. How many pages have you read this quarter and how many books have you read so far this quarter? Looking back at your reading log in your reader's notebook, and any reflections that you may have completed and submitted, you should be able to guesstimate approximately how many pages that you have read and how many books that you've read. Remember that our goal for this quarter was to complete at least two books. So hopefully you've got a number that's greater than two to put in here. When you get to part two, you're gonna be asked to put those books in order from most to least difficult, with one being the most difficult and five being the least difficult. Why did you put your books in that order? You're gonna to have to think about that and write your response of at least 50 words explaining how you decided to organize your books from most to least difficult. That's part one and part two of this assignment, and they're the most straightforward parts. Part three, you've had the opportunity to watch a variety of book talks this quarter. We've actually watched, I believe, seven or eight at this point in time. And each one was less than five minutes and just gave you a snapshot into what the book was about, what the author was about, and about the style of the book. You're going to be recording your own book talk in a Flipgrid. Or if you choose, you can write a 200 word response instead. You can see that there is a rundown of the information that you need to include in your book talk, whether you use the Flipgrid option and record your book talk, or you write your response in the space provided below. Each one of those should reference all of these different parts of a strong book talk. So that way you can make sure that your book talk gets maximum points. The final piece of your assessment is part four, the reader response. You've been posed a question, does choosing your own books matter? In most literature classes, students are assigned specific books to read and the whole class studies the same text. We've chosen a different path for our groups and allowed them to choose their own books. And we want to know whether you think it's important and if it's mattered to you. Your job is to use at least two examples from your own reading experience as evidence and take aside and argue whether it was a good idea for you to be able to choose your own books or whether you think uh, you should have just had a book selected for you. Remember, good arguments present both sides and consider the opposing argument as well as your own. So consider the value of us reading a whole novel together versus what we experienced this quarter, which was individual text uh, excerpts, and then of course, your own novels that you read. All four of these parts need to be completed by the end of the week. You will have the entire class period today to work on this. And then if any additional time is needed, then you can work on it on Thursday. This is an important part of your overall grade this quarter. And remember, independent reading is the most heavily weighted section of the grade book. So it is a critical assessment. Make sure you do your best work and I look forward to hearing your reflections about your reading life.